Hi everyone, it's Leslie here from Hungry Heavy Crafts and today I have a collaboration card. I love a collaboration. It's so much fun using different products together. And here I am with Chibitronics and Honeybee Stamps. I'm using the Busy Bees stamp set from Honeybee Stamps. And a little bit later on, I'll also add a greeting from the Sending You Sentiment set. And I thought it would be really fun to make the little be light up. So I've put an LED in his butt. <laughs> I've pre-cut some panels here using some dyes. So I've got the inside out scallops from Lawn Fawn. I have the dotted details rectangle from Studio Calico. And then I've also used some simple stitched hillside borders and some grassy borders to cut that down as well. So I've got a couple of different layers to help build my card today. So the scallop rectangle is going to be my base and the rest I'm going to layer up on top but I'm going to figure out exactly where I want my B to be stamped and I'm thinking kind of top right angle, um, top right corner up here and that's where I'll put my LED. So I've put a little piece of yellow post-it note tape there to mark it in place and now I'm making a little mechanism to hold my battery and that's just some plain copy paper cut into a skinny rectangle and folded over. For my circuit I'm adding my copper tape here. One side goes on the inside of my battery holder like this and then the other goes on the top of my battery holder and folds over to the inside. Now don't forget that you need to leave a little gap between the two lines of the copper tape where you want the light to be because there is about a quarter of an inch gap is what you need. So you can put your little light on there. So let's stick that on now like this and then pay attention to where the negative and positive side are marked on your battery because I mean on your LED because that means you're going to need to put your battery down the right way. So let's stick my battery onto this base layer here and I'll add some one millimeter foam on either side of the copper strip on my flap of my battery holder. And that means that when the card is in a neutral position, it is not touching, but when you press on top and compress the foam, it lights up our little LED. Okay, so let's figure out where I want to stamp my B and add some color to this card. I'm using some dye inks and a blendy brush to add some color to my front panels. So I've got some green grass and I'm also adding a little cloud border to the background as well. I've stamped out the flower and the stalk. And I'll color them in very quickly with my Copic markers. And this top layer I'll position completely flat on top of my circuit but my grass I'm going to raise up with a little foam tape so that there is some room underneath for the battery. So let's line that up and then this layer will go on top with my stalk poking up. My flower on top will be raised up with some foam so I am lavishing this with some foam here I want to make sure it's nice and sturdy and stick it up like this and it was at this point that I realized that I wanted a little bit more interest in the background so there's this cute little swirl stamp in the Busy Bee set there's two swirls actually one going left one going right and I just stamped them onto the background to make that work and for my front panel I want to add a heart and there's a heart in the Busy Bee set but because this is a interactive card, I thought it would be fun to add the push here stamp, which is from the Heffy Doodle Interactively Yours stamp set. And it's nice and tiny, so it fits perfectly within the heart from the Busy Bee set. So let's stamp that on top. And as I'll stick this layer once again flat and add a little Copic pink tone to the outside layers of my heart. Now to finish off this card, I actually added a stamped greeting that says, you did it to the top left section and cut it out with a, a different die that I had in my stash with this little fishtail element. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Here's some more videos that you may like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any of my other videos as soon as they're released. You can also leave me a like and a comment down here and don't forget to follow me on social media at Hungry Heffy. I'll see you there. Have a great day and happy crafting. Bye.